I just want to take a few minutes and uh, show you all the new new signature pick from Apollo Picks. Um, I've been using Apollo Picks for the last several years uh, and had a signature model from Nick and uh, we over the last several months we've worked together to kind of revamp that a little bit. Um, the original one was a, a elliptical pick with uh, so a, tri a triangle shaped pick with sort of rounded points um, not too not too sharp and not too awfully round with a, a polished edge not, not a real steep bevel and that's what I've been using for several years and it was kind of suiting me real well but as I was working on my technique and doing more of the hybrid style picking where I'm using my middle finger also um, I started running into some things that just it wasn't quite what I wanted it to be started exploring different things uh, pick wise uh, shapes and then sort of some different um, elements that way and ultimately long story short where I landed was back on to on the pick shape and that I had been using for for decades which was a more very rounded triangle uh, sort of what some folks would call a worn down triangle you know like real rounded edges um, and a little bit more of a pronounced bevel to it still not like a super speed bevel like you might see on some picks but a little more pronounced bevel so rounder tips a little more bevel and slightly smaller I would say um, and that's the shape that I had used for decades before I kind of moved out and used the, the a little bit more pointed pick. Um, the main difference is instead of going back to what I had been using, I'm now using a considerably thinner pick than I ever had before. Um, back in the day, I used a 1.5 millimeter in that rounded triangle, and then I was using a 1.4 millimeter in the more pointed triangle, uh, the, the version one from Apollo. And then with this, I've gone all the way down to a one millimeter pick, which surprised me as I was experimenting that that's what was suiting me. But ultimately what I found, what suits my technique, is that the rounded pick with a little more pronounced bevel and in a thinner model, a 1.0 millimeter, gave me everything I was looking for. It just suited my right hand. Uh, I play very parallel and perpendicular to the strings. come in at, at much of an angle like from the top angle um, I don't come out from in for very from very far out I'm playing pretty close to the strings and very parallel and perpendicular and what it seems to me is that because of that because I need the rounded tip to give me more surface area of what grabs the string so it's a blunter edge I'm coming in from relatively straight on not perfectly straight on but but very shallow angle to that I think players that use a steeper angle when they come in and they sort of lead with the front edge of the pick probably need more of a point to get the pick to kind of grab the string and give it more of a pop. But to me, when I have a pointed pick and I'm playing uh, in this parallel perpendicular approach, the the very pointed picks sound way too bright to my ear. It's not a tone that I'm after. Um, there, it's usually it's kind of quick, you know, like it's a faster pick sometimes in a sense, but it's just not the tone that I want to hear. So what I found was the one millimeter pick in the rounded very rounded triangle with a, star, a sharper, uh, steeper, excuse me, steeper bevel kind of uh, was the best um, set of ingredients for me. So the, the, the Schlinker model, the Adam Schlinker model um, version two uh, from Apollo Picks will be a very rounded triangle with a little more pronounced bevel in a one millimeter. And I love this PEI material, this black material. It's my favorite pick material I've ever really come across, both from tone and touch. I love the way it feels in my hand. So those will be coming out soon, and check uh, the Apollo website, and you'll see them on there and be able to grab them up for yourself. Mm -hmm.